Welcome to Underground LA. Today we're going to take a look at the final resting place of Nora Eddington. Nora Eddington was born in 1924 in Chicago, Illinois. Um, she moved to Los Angeles with her family because her father was Jack Eddington, the uh, LA County Sheriff. Uh, she had a job when she was a teenager working at the LA County Courthouse. That is where she met um, Earl Flynn. She was the second wife of Earl Flynn. Uh, and he was there at the courthouse on trial for statutory rape. Kind of creepy. Uh, but they met together. Uh, he was acquitted of his uh, rape charge, and they went to Mexico and got married. They had two kids, but by 1949, uh, their marriage was over, and they were divorced. And she married singer uh, Dick Hames, and then she uh, divorced him and married uh, Richard Black. They had one child together, uh, and their child died at the age of 10 from leukemia. Very sad. Uh, they were interned uh, next to each other in uh, Westwood. Um, she wrote a book called Earl and Me. I looked that up. Um, she was pretty much not happy with the way the tabloids treated her as a huge scandal, of course, in the 40s with Earl Flynn. So she wrote her own, own, book, own book, Earl and Me. Uh, it is $65 on Amazon if you would like to buy that because it is out of print. But uh, she was in two, she's accredited in being in two movies, which was, uh, one of them was The Adventures of Don Juan, uh, 1948, and uh, the other one was The Cruise of the Zaka. The Zaka was Earl Flynn's uh, beloved sailboat. I think this, I haven't seen this, but I think it's like a marine biology kind of documentary thing. I do want to check it out. Uh, and that was in 1952. Um, so she was mostly no, very well known for uh, being Earl Flynn's second wife, and she was very, very much a socialite at the time. Uh, she passed away at the age of 77 in Los Angeles from uh, kidney disease. So she's buried at Pierce Brothers Westwood, uh, right next to her 10-year-old son, uh, which is very sad. Um, like, subscribe, tell me who else you want me to see, and I appreciate everybody watching Underground LA.